Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick disclaimer, and I can't even believe I let this slide in my other video. Um, we did go to Miami when we went to Florida, but the very first stop for us was Orlando. So when we actually drove in and you saw the clip with the steak eating and all the good times, the original plan was to drive over to a, uh, a friend of Tim's who was going to hook us up with a hotel room not too far from Orlando or we would go to a relative of Tim's that isn't too far from Orlando. So somewhere nearby Orlando was the plan, but during the ride there, uh, we kind of talked it out a little more and we eventually just found a deal, a, like a really good deal to a hotel that we found really, really close to Orlando, like way closer than all our other options. So we decided to take that deal. Disclaimer, <laughs> like I said, I don't pay attention to the orientation of my camera, uh, so some of it might be upside down. I'm sorry. Good morning, everybody. Hey. Nope, too busy with that. Uh, so, what time is it? Like eight-ish morning. We're gonna head over to the, uh, is it? Cape, Cape Canaveral? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do a little. We're gonna do a little tourism before we decide to uh, have some fun because we want to. You know, we still want to be cultured. We're not total party animals, as as described by last night. Now, guys, I wouldn't lie to you. If we had a good time last night, I would probably say something about it. But by the time we drove in, um, it was already kind of late. Everything that the hotel had to offer. Uh, was closed. Um, I, I actually don't even remember what day it was we drove in, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it was a Sunday night because of how dead it was. Uh, but you know, when we got to the hotel room, we took these pictures, um, and you know, we tried to make the best of what we had, but we were all kind of tired from traveling and driving, so we basically had a night in. We had an idea to maybe get some room service, get some massages, but like I said, everything was closed. So I'm pretty sure we just ended up watching Bo Burnham's new comedy special because it had just come out. Um, but I mean, we fell asleep. There was only one king bed for the three of us, so things happen. As in mature, grown-up men, you know, laid down on a bed together, snuggled up, and uh, we all fell asleep wonderfully. I might add. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the hotel. Wait, turn around. That's our hotel, right there. What's the specs on this hotel, Tim? Um, it's really big. Uh, it's really big. That's yeah, really it's big. got a lot of floors. Everything inside, arcade. Spa, oh yeah, gym. arcade, spa. There's tennis courts, volleyball courts, like four pools, right? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. All in all, it was really nice. To the Space Center! The Space Center was actually really nice. Um, it was December, after all, and uh, they had changed the NASA logo um, in the very front of the, the park into a Christmas ball, which was kind of cool. Um, and they also had some other cool things to see. Just remember, this wasn't an amusement park. Per se, it was more kind of like a uh, tourist attraction, so there aren't any roller coasters or anything. Just a lot of really cool things to see, um, spaceships and stuff. But one of the most important things that we knew we wanted to do was, you know, take the whole bus tour around Kennedy Space Center because that's like the most important thing. Like, why are you even there, right? Um, so we saw some cool things. We saw the pathways that the shuttle goes through. Um, we also saw some of the launch pads and things like that. We also saw, actually saw, you know, Kennedy Space Center, that building, that famous building with the NASA logo and the the uh, the American flag that was supposed to be like as big as nine basketball courts. So that was kind of cool. Also kind of funny was uh, Wayne fell asleep during the tour. Um, I guess we were still a little tired or tired and hungover from you know the drive and the travel, but uh, we actually ended up in a section um, on the tour, but uh, we went into the room that simulated the uh, one of the launches, 
Uh, so that was kind of cool because it was kind of it was kind of like a show, but not really. But then there was also, you know, when the space launched, everything vibrated. It was really loud, and you really got into it. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then after that, they took us to, I guess, the gift gift uh, gift shop section of it, um, and it was just a huge, long hallway. And in the middle of it was this gigantic spaceship, um, and off to the sides. Um, were all the Apollo mission badges, which was super cool. Um, and then they also had some displays about the evolution of the spacesuit. Um, and then we, you know, stopped by for lunch. Kind of pricey, but what place isn't? Uh, but yeah, that was um, kind of it. I had a really good time, um, you know, nerding out around the park. Uh, and then we also saw a uh, kind of like an IMAX. 3D type documentary on, you know, the happenings uh, up there in the space station. Um, you know, all the research they're doing, and they also, you know, went over, you know, <laughs> all the astronauts up there just like fooling around what they do when they're bored. And it is, I mean, I don't know if I could do it, but it is a lonely place up there. But, you know, eating looks really fun. Um, Shit flying around everywhere and catching it in your mouth. No homo. No, no, no hetero. Just, I just said it, okay? But, you know, I took it for what it was and I still overhaul had a great time. I came out with a NASA mug. Tim got some SpaceX t shirt um, and some other cool things. But uh, after we pretty much did everything that we really needed to do at the park, we went over to Tim's relative's house. <laughs> So uh, we're here in Titusville, visiting Tim's relatives, and I'm on the back of a golf cart, <laughs> and uh, I'm having a great time. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just so much fun. No, this is an awesome little town. This is an awesome, I think, community. community. It's very quiet, and the weather here is just so perfect. Yeah. I don't understand it. Everyone's got a golf cart. I think everybody in the community gets, like, gets one complimentary. <laughs> one complimentary. <laughs> yeah, it was a great community. Nice and quiet and definitely a place I could see myself retiring in or I could see other people retiring in. Everyone's just so nice and it's quiet and it's warm. Like, I don't know. What else could you want? But we couldn't stay long. We did have dinner reservations at Roy's, which I find kind of funny because I definitely wanted to uh, embark in that a culinary journey um, not just because it had my name but I heard it was good food too it was one of those places where the waiters would come up to you and crush your black pepper for you and they would ask crush pepper wait why would they crush your pepper before you ask they would ask crushed pepper assuming that you said yes they would crush your pepper anyway basically we were taken care of that night it was amazing the food was phenomenal but even then we had to rush through that uh, experience because we had also made another reservation to this show called drip um, and that show was pretty freaking awesome a little sketchy at first because the where the show took place um, it was kind of like around back of a shopping center for a certain price uh, you get a t-shirt um, which you'll be able to cut up uh, or do whatever you want to with with paint and things like that and there's also like a bar in which you can partake in drinks before the show starts actually there were different there were different colored shots and I think all the beer was like green or something like that uh, but the shots were awesome but yeah you got a little tipsy or a little buzz get a little buzz before the show starts um, and then the show was pretty pretty amazing it was kind of like a half an hour maybe a little bit more long music video uh, and there was a storyline and you know to follow and it was really cool but the best part about it was you were just kind of like standing in the middle of it all and whatever happened to get in your way got in your way so there was you know fight scenes you know the the performers would just be throwing everything at you or at each other and you like I said you just happen to get in the way so basically you start out looking like this 
and then you end up looking like this. Uh, which was awesome because after the show, you know, you drink a little bit more and you mingle with the performers and it was all around a great experience. Must see if you're ever in Orlando. After that, I think we just went back to the hotel, uh, really just kind of, you know, had a quiet, you know, the rest of the night in, uh, packed up our stuff and then we finally, finally headed out to Miami. And I will tell you about that next time. Optimus. Optimus Prime. <laughs>